hey guys good morning from southern nevada so today we're going to do another ammo review this is federal hydroshock this is a 45 acp ammo 165 grain hollow point ought to be pretty interesting this is a, a low recoil ammo so kind of anxious to put it through uh, my pistol but what we're going to do is we're going to go back into my shop i'll show you a close-up uh, view of this ammo we'll take a look at the pistol we're going to shoot today a very nice 1911 and then uh, we'll come back out here we're going to check velocity penetration and expansion so let's go back into my shop and take a look at this Fedro Hydroshock look at this huh low recoil jacketed hollow point 165 grains you don't see 165 grain 45 ammo very often so we're going to take a look here at the box and then I'll I'll pop it open look at the specs here velocity 1060 feet per second energy 412 pounds that's pretty dang good all right you know what let's uh let's open this up see what we have all right let that focus here nickel plated case federal 45 auto boy I, I love these big fat bullets and as you can see there's 20 rounds to a box so let me show you the gun we're going to shoot today Okay, I'm going to be shooting a Ruger SR 1911. Look at this beauty, huh? I'll tell you what, this is one of my all-time favorite pistols. I just love shooting this. I've had this about five years. I've put a lot of rounds through it. And, yeah, just a really an amazing pistol. I did change out the grips on this to these uh, G10 grips. I just, I really like blue and stainless really just a nice combination so you know what let's get out to the range again and uh, do some shooting in this cooler I have a block of ballistics gel and I've got it sitting on these frozen blocks here to keep it nice and cool so it won't come out of this cooler until I actually get ready to shoot it okay first thing I want to do is is shoot my gel before it gets too warm out here so my first two rounds are going to be shot into just the gel by itself and then we'll go down and and uh, take a look at the bullets and then my next two rounds I'm going to fire through this uh, cloth this is a an old flannel shirt it's not real thick and it's, it's not real thin so this ought to be uh, interesting and then my next two rounds I'm going to shoot through one layer of denim and one layer of this cloth so let's get set up get that gel set on the table and BAM start shooting okay I've got my GoPro set up I've got my little base here for my gel to sit on and I have one gallon of water back here in case a bullet goes completely through hopefully I can catch it in this jug of water okay that gel's been sitting out for about 30 seconds two rounds of Hydroshock. Let's go down and take a look. GoPro, stop recording. certainly look like they expanded pretty good let me go here on the other side all right so far they're looking pretty good I will take those out once I get home
two rounds through the flannel shirt. Looks like a piece right here. Yeah. Kind of hard to tell, but. Oh, here's one right here. Yeah, they, they look like they expanded pretty good. Oh, yeah, look at that. That one right there. So that looks really good. The other one, it looks like it did the same thing. All right. Okay, one layer of denim, one layer of flannel shirt. GoPro, stop recording. Oh yeah, look at that one right there. Man, I'll tell you what, those look like they really expanded really good. Can't wait to dig those out. And it looks like they all traveled about 12 and a half to 13, maybe 13 and a half inches. Hey, you know what? Since I got this set up, I'm going to fire one more round through two layers of denim and two layers of flannel, and we'll see what happens. Well, I can see that water jug's leaking. All right. Well, definitely went all the way through and there's nothing in the jug all right well I guess we found the uh, limitation on this ammo but I'm still really happy with it let's uh, let's try velocity Well, I got this all set up, turn it on, and bam, the battery's dead. And I don't have a spare battery, unfortunately. That's just dumb of me. I always carry spare batteries for everything. But it is what it is. But anyways, right now we're going to go back home. I'm going to cut this block open, pull these bullets out, and take a look at them. Okay, now before I cut this open, I want to show you a couple of things. One... You see all this dark in here? This is denim from a previous test. And that stuff's just never going to... It's just never going to come out of there. So this is the top of the block. This here is the right side. Now this was the very first round I fired. This went through just the gel. This one here went through the shirt and the denim. And as you can see, they both went almost exactly the same... Uh, depth into the gel and let's measure that real quick so we are at a solid 12 inches on that what these bullets do they come in and then they end up backing up a little bit but you can see that was 12 inches let's try that right there and this other one was also right about 12 inches and let's take a look at the wound channel here get my light here so actually that looks pretty good both of them and I do want to mention that when I when I fired this round here 
This was a denim and a shirt. Of course, I fired two rounds. This one stopped right here. The other one came in right here, and this is where it went right here. But unfortunately, it curved and it came out right here. So I fired seven bullets, and there's only five in here. And of course, the other one that came out and hit the uh, water jug, that was this track right here. So let me flip this over a little bit. Again, this is the top. Now this one here went through the flannel shirt. And let's measure that one. Again, you can see right about 12 inches. And it mushroomed really good. In fact, all of them did. So first thing I want to do is cut this one out right here. So I think I'm going to turn this this away. Got a little bit of lead in here, or actually that's a little bit of denim there. All right, let's look at this beauty, huh? Wow, look at that. And I will weigh this to see if it lost any weight, although it, it did lose a little bit. But we'll find out how much, but... And then we'll measure and see... Uh, see how big this is because so yeah that's that's really cool right there so let me uh let me dig out all these other ones and then we'll compare them side by side oh yeah now this is the one i just went through the gel and nothing else All right, here's all five of my slugs, and look at that. They almost all look identical. This one here was the very first one I fired. But after that, I mean, they just all look the same. And I did mark these on the back, so I know which is which yeah that's pretty cool let's uh measure a couple of these and see what we have look at that almost 69 caliber yeah that's that's pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, so these are at least 70 caliber. That makes for a really big bullet. All right, you know what? Let's uh let's weigh these and see what we have. Now, remember, these started out at 165 grains. Not bad. Yeah, you know, they haven't lost much. Well, there we go. And one more here. All right. Not bad at all. So, would I carry these in my 1911? 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, look at that. Look at the box there. Looks a lot like that, doesn't it? Yeah, I do like these guys, and I highly recommend them. And I will be carrying these in my 45. So uh, I think that's about it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you learned something. I certainly did. And uh, subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you guys next time.